Ty Jordan Fuller for the team lead with 81 tackles last year. Second and 12. Robinson off his back foot. Robinson sacked, dropped it, loose. Look at the speed that you're going to see from Ohio State from the end position. These two guys closing like freight trains on the quarterback. Robeson's got nowhere to go. He's got to just tuck that ball and eat it, take the sack, because you don't want to do that. Put it on the ground. Florida Atlantic, 18 plays, minus three yards. Looking to get outside, really right. Nothing doing. Track down from behind. Robinson tucks it. Can he get the first? No, he will not. Is going to look over to his left side right here. And he's looking for that wide receiver. He's blocking. And on the ground in the first half. That's the longest run of the day for Michael Warren on first down. As he picked up four, picks up one more. They're only going to have probably five, six, maybe seven possessions in the second half. But now it's a four-possession game. Ramsey running it. Better get down as he... Nice job looking that in. Shelton. Third and goal from inside the five. Fakes the handoff to Johnson. Gabbert. Tries to tuck it and run. Won't get there. But maybe with the fact that the game is now the way it is, 28-5, do you risk him re-injuring something? As we get a look at this last play. Just kind of cut it loose. And third down from the pocket. Flushed out quickly. Kind of a deer in the headlights look. And then they're going to spy with an athletic linebacker in Baron Browning. Keep him in a pocket. Third down. Nowhere to go. And the weight of expectation here is just enormous. But no Buckeye fan could fill about anything they've seen so far tonight. Each team has the most losses against top ten teams without a win. Give us a second. Play action. Martinez. Little hesitation. And now he'll take off and dive for four. Leads the conference in passing yards, has just one interception. Elijah Collins, the freshman, has become the workhorse tailback. Gillis into the outside, created a nice little rub there on third down. Spartans are not typically an up-tempo team. They try to use it first years of the playoff. Second and four for the Spartans. Lurgy has to step up. Can he escape? Young was after him and flushed him out. And then cleaning up there is Jayshon Cornell. Well, see that? He's out and he's up and into the backfield before Tyler Higby really even moves. The get off is what's exceptional. Watch right there. He's worked so hard on the little aspects of his game to be a technician and a good job. And he was off to a good start in Palo Alto week one before that injury hit. Finally getting right. He's in there to block here. Floated downfield. That ball is incomplete. Make that reception. Pretty good throw here by Aiden, who takes a shot. And get ready to take a bunch of those tonight, Aiden. Second down and nine. Only a four-man rush. Still able to collapse the pocket. Smith steps away. Makes one man miss and crumbles. First and ten at the 19. And he'll hand it off Taylor. Taylor taken down by Jay Sean Cordell playing the best football that they have their entire careers. First down to the 48 for Penn State. Brown trying to get outside. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Watch Hamler in the slot at the top of your screen. Levis looking. Levis is sacked. He gets there off of the tight end surface. You got pressure from the inside. That's Jay Sean Cornell, and they meet in the middle. I'm telling you, man, this guy is not garbage time sacks. It is big time sacks when they need it the most. Second and 10 at the 48. They'll hand it off. Groshek leaning forward. Cone has had the touch. Here's Cone in trouble and sack. They brought pressure from somewhere. Out of nowhere. And watch 76. This is Caden Lyles. He just totally whiffs and he's looking outside like he's supposed to get help from his center. It never came. Jay Sean Cornell. Cone hands it off. Jonathan Taylor spinning behind the line of scrimmage, and Ohio State gets to him quickly.